Do a poll on who would be Jake Paul's next opponent. Uh, Peter, do you want to uh, lead us with that? Oh, yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Ring gang back with the polls, you know what I'm saying? We got the best polls. So so good the niggas be fighting us, but you know what it is. Fuck, <laughs> fuck you, die slow. My full fault makes sure all y'all don't grow. <laughs> but anyways, we asked, who would you like to see Jake Paul fight next? Would you like to see A, Anderson Silva, B, a Tyron Woodley rematch, D, Tommy Fury, or D, KSI? And 67 votes so far, and 54% said Tommy Fury. So, yeah, when you said, oh, nobody wants to see, you know, Fury, Jake Paul, or, or, yeah, actually everybody does want to see, and it's overwhelming majority on Twitter. Wait, yeah. wait oh, Fury, Fury got over, over KSI on the, on the poll? Hell yeah. yeah, KSI got thirteen. KSI got thirteen percent. Anderson Silva got twenty four percent. And it- yeah, Woodley got nine. Per- the Woodley rematch got nine percent. Yeah, I don't think we're seeing Woodley. Yeah, yeah nobody. I think, yeah, I think with the post fight, yeah. with the post fight shit and clearly, and I think that tweet, I, you know, I don't feel all the tweet, but you definitely Paul's gonna, you know, he's gonna mull over his decisions for now. I think yeah. he'll take a, you know, he ain't gonna box for at least. You know, this motherfucker said he's retired. He's retiring. This motherfucker said. Nah, the, he, the bad's gonna be there. He's, he's gonna yeah, chill no, out. He's he's but this month, like, but no, but even after the fight, he's like re, rethinking himself. Like this month, and this motherfucker is like, and, and it, it just shows that this guy really doesn't have a fighting mentality. He's just doing it as like he's an adventurous type, which is funny because somebody that sparred him. Said that he's like he's not like at heart he's not really a fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 doesn't, he doesn't have any dog in him like whatsoever. Like that's the thing. Like you can see, like you can tell fighters who are naturally have the dog in them or where he has none in him, zero. You know. Well, even, though the poll, even though the poll is real good, right? I bet you his next fight is none of them niggas. It's gonna be I his nigga. That, that yeah, nigga's gonna fight. That. He's gonna fight somebody like Khabib. Or some shit like a uh, extreme re- John. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah, nah. Khabib is never fighting again. I can see him waiting for Connor. I can see him waiting for Connor to get his, his thing. Uh, you know, he's, he's, gonna, he's, gonna, he's gonna have a, it's gonna be a great name, but not a great fighting name, boxing name. Yeah, no, basically, uh, basically, yeah, basically yeah. a name who looks weak lately, and, and Connor McGregor fits that bill. Yeah, and Connor. Yeah, uh, that, Connor that, McGregor that put up a tweet. Okay. Connor McGregor put up a tweet that said salivating after the fight. Yeah, yeah so we'll, 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 we'll see that next year. That nigga's still on crutches, ain't he? Yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get broken out. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, like, yeah, for real, like, I mean, honestly, I mean, Silva just being a former world champion, so Silva needs to never, I mean, Silva and Jake Paul, will, I mean, Silva will knock him cold. Oh, Silva, yeah, Silva will get him out of there. KSI is struggle fighting, too, but I don't, it's, 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 it's pure struggle. Like, I mean, it I mean, I can just, I can I can see based on I mean I'm not really interested in that fight either you know but I, 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 the problem I think, the problem is I, the problem is it's hard to go like do we does anybody really want to see him go back to fighting another YouTuber after fighting these names like yeah, uh, I don't think it's, the public talking about- has a draw though I think KSI has got a, you know a good following so I could see it be maybe being a, a quote unquote light touch. Nah, Maybe. You see that that could get sold just off the name, like the revenge. Yeah, and plus that he beat the brother, you know, he beat Logan, whatever. So they going up from where they started. They started with a YouTuber. They went to an NBA star. Then they went. They, then they went to a, you know, a bottom rank, a bottom tier, fucking MMA fighter. No, 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 no. Yeah. Ben Evans not bottom tier. Just a fading one. He was a wrestler, but yeah, and plus he was a wrestler. He's, you know, it's his. Yeah, head. Uh, uh, Matt Rugg, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Rugg, nigga. I don't want to hear that. Then he fought, okay, a, a legend in Ty, Ty. I like Ty with me. He's one of my favorite UFC fighters. Even though that nigga, even though he's like a slow fighter, I still like the way he, like, I still like the way he fights. But UFC, though. UFC. He's a good grappler. When he get inside, it's a wrap. Like, he's good from the clinch. 
But he had a great run. Like, like he's, a, he's an all-time great UFC fighter. For real. His reign was great. For real, but they're going up from here. They're not going less than a MMA legend. They're not going back to a YouTube. It's, it's, I'm telling you, there's going to be something that we we, we miss. We, we going to miss it. If they go for Tommy Fury, that's the only one that you can see, like, straight up. But if it's not him... That'd be the most dangerous fight, too. But if it's not him, it's going to be somebody that's dangerous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, James James get <laughs> and, 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 that's, and that's what I'm talking about in terms of what before. Like, Jake Paul has to realize, like, if he's going to continue to do this shit, niggas don't want to see him moving around the way, throwing weak jabs and making faces and shit like that, and you're not punishing your opponent. People are too, people are buying your bullshit because you can you know they want to see you knock out. He has to get a knockout. People want to they see him want to match him up with somebody he can knock out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, ain't, this ain't no this ain't no this ain't no Cleveland school of boxing. Look, <laughs> people are just matching it up right because he he knows people want to see him lose more than they want to see him win anyway. Best, you that's know, how, yeah. That's how I feel. People want to get Jake Paul out of here, so he got to look for that crowd that wants to get him out of here. Because honestly, the people that he fought wanted to get him out of here. YouTube nigga was like, "Fuck Jake Paul, I got more followers." You got his ass whooped, nigga. Nate yeah. Robinson hit that nigga up on the DM like, "Yo, nigga, you cool little bitch ass nigga, let's square up." And, 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 and what you just described, bro, is the problem is why Jake Paul and his rest of his ilk got into this boxing shit and why and why boxers are suddenly like backseat to this motherfucker or have to play next to him because he's given the people he's given his actual his fan base what they're looking for and the and the people that you know run boxing right. they touch him like okay damn like you know if this if this has attention they'll try to get some money off this and then you have four boxers who do who see this shit and they're like, okay, you know, they, they talk shit, but now they, all of a sudden they're kissing his ass. And you hate to that's, see that, it. That's very true. That's why this thing is getting showtime on his fourth fight because he's doing the fights that everybody want to see in, in the beginning of his career. Like, he's not 19 fights in, now he's getting his fights off. This right. nigga is doing shit, the fights. He's doing the fights. 32 fights in. Right? <laughs> He's on the phone. Everybody want to see him now. They want to see him lose now. So he's like, you know what? Fuck it. Let me give me some threats. Yeah, and and that and that's the thing with boxing. And this is how and I, I, I complained about this several times. This is how he got in there because boxing. You made Jake Paul a player in this shit, and that's the reason why he's in the. That's why. He, that's why he's basically he moves how he moves, and he moves like a damn boss, and he shouldn't be a boss in boxing. Facts. That nigga, he, he moving like a boss, get his own pay per view. He he's picking his co main. Yeah. He's picking the undercard. Like honestly, it's like that's like a dude who, before he drop his first album, he he executive produces his first EP or some shit. And he yeah, gets like all the top features, producers. Or that, or he already paid back his advance before the album dropped. You know. Yeah, he <laughs> came. He, he came up. I mean, shit, he sold out. You know. <clears throat> Le- 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 LeBron James basically, you know, built in a sense, you know? He sold that shit out. I'm not going to lie, that was like the most packed boxing boxing event I've seen in a very long time. And, and, that, and, that, and, that's, and that's the problem. Especially in fucking Cleveland. That, exactly. All them niggas don't even live in Cleveland. Yes. All <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, they, I mean, they were showing all the spots, like they were showing like Dave Chappelle, all the MMA cats in there, boxer cats over there. They were all in there. He made it happen for like one whole weekend. Right. Like, he get props for that. Like, and, and, he, and, and, and the, niggas is hating though, but like, Jake Paul good for boxing. And to a degree, like I mean, if Jake Paul ever want to do some promoting shit, like you know, he, yeah, he could do that. But as a boxer though. Like nah, I mean he's not it as a boxer. Like I mean he has to understand. Nah, he still gotta. This is the thing. Like there's two ways they probably looking at it. One way is they spooked along some like, oh my god, we fucked up. We didn't knock him out. We didn't knock out Woodley. How we gonna start the next fight? Who we gotta fight next? Damn, that's what's troubling them. The other way to look at it is like, oh my god, I just went eight fucking rounds. Yeah, eight (laughs) rounds. In my fourth fight, I win an eight full fucking round, like eight full fucking rounds. Like, so one of the scariest things, goat, 
he went through that early, super early. Right. If he and didn't want to train harder after that, I don't know what's going to make him train harder, but so wait, maybe that should be a good boost. Like confidence. What, 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 cruiserweight, right? Yeah, he's a cruiserweight. So what, what What would you say if his next fight is a title shot? He's going to get killed. He's going to get killed. Drop. <laughs> Shut him down. Casket. Right? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, cruiserweight, the, cruiserweight is the, cruiserweights are currently in the African and Russian era. And if you see some of their fights out there, especially on PBC, PBC had one earlier today involving a uh, fellow African. Like, I mean, it, like cruiserweights is the division. They don't get a lot of attention, but them motherfuckers fight. Yeah. Dick Paul will get bodied by a journeyman there, never mind an actual champion. Yeah. Mm. Anybody from like their top 10 is like a threat. So there's no there's no way he'll ever compete for like a, a title shot or nothing. Like Hell the no, he shouldn't he could never even even though he can sell out, they're not gonna do that to him. No, I mean I, I thought a part of you know, I mean I I gotta realize he was just playing the gimmick because you know, watching it, you know, I can't avoid all the fucking well, I gotta give props also to the promotion for his fight was crazy. So I mean it's all, all over you you know, my logarithm. Uh, and he said he wants to be a champion, but uh, I think this fight had him, you know, this, this realizing nah, he, he's not, he's not gonna really do that shit. And I'm, I'm, just, I'm just seeing this comment here from Cam Giles. No disrespect, my brother, but I need y'all to put Pilot on. He's been on. <laughs> he's been <laughs> silly ass. And Pilot's been on this shit. I know, I, I know, I think I know who that is. <laughs> Like, nah, nah, nigga, he, he's all on so, so, yo, Pilot, what the fuck you got to say? Because apparently you needed, like, a grand introduction, so, like, <laughs> you right. better spit, like, the hardest that, verse of that, all time. That, that, I'm, I'm going to put him on black. That's Houston, 9-11, from the college. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay, yo, salute, yo. <laughs> But yeah, no, no, Pilot's been on though, uh, but yeah, yeah, it's just funny. I was like, God damn, like Pilot's getting, Pilot has a fan base now. He didn't even tell us. Yeah. Yeah, trying to, trying to, you know, trying to build the brand, like you know. No word. I'm about to give you the Uncasa intro, nigga. Like, I'm about to be like, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Something, something, Tropicana. <laughs> <laughs> Speakers to the wild. Hey, that shit was hard though. Right? Yeah, that shit was hard. Yeah, that intro hard as fuck. You know, but um, but yeah, with yeah, with Woodley, like I mean, obviously Woodley was making excuses. Jake was making excuses, and I didn't like his I didn't like his uh, after school special ass post fight speech either. I was like, yo, stop all this positive shit. Talk some shit and get the fuck out the ring. Stop, stop talking about bullying. And- I, yo, I think going to eight rounds spooked him. Like, yeah. I think he had no idea the fight would go the distance. Like. I think that shit really spooked him, like, damn, and, and he's probably looking at it like, damn, I got exposed, look how I looked. Yeah. Yeah, but, but he shouldn't even look at it like that, like, Willie should be kicking himself because he could have body Jake Paul, he didn't. Yeah, and, and really talking about, I don't want to see, Willie didn't perform well enough for a rematch, like, dog, like, you go fight some other MMA cat in the boxing ring, like, you know, Jake Paul, I mean, you, you got a million dollars you know, for you know, for the night, you got the most you ever made in your career, man. Take it and go do something else. Yeah, start some movies or some shit. If Willie would have scored a knockdown on that shot, he would have won the fight. He probably, yeah, you know, he, yeah, he, he, either that or would have been like a majority. Like, nah, nah, he would have, he would, he would have still lost by a point. Or uh, the most he would have got, he could have earned himself a, the, the right to say he got a draw. But, you know. Yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, he still keeps because because one person had uh, one judge had it seventy seven seventy five for for Jake Paul and the other judge had it seventy eight seventy four. So even if you take away a point, you still win. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so yeah, I mean, I mean, he know yeah. he fucked up though. He, he had Jake Paul. Do we, do we all agree though? Do we all agree? That, <laughs> sorry, do we all agree that um he won the fight, Jake Paul? Yeah. Yeah, he won. Yeah, he won, but it just it yeah. wasn't well, it wasn't a win that you know. I mean, I was, uh, yeah, he won because Willie Willie didn't try to really win. So I mean, basically in the in, like obviously because we're all hardcore, so it's like you know they won, but just like eh, yeah, no, whatever, mid. <laughs> that's that's how that's how it's hard it to is. sell the next fight. Don't though. don't tell that to, don't tell that to Carissa Shields. She's on Twitter like telling everybody Woodley won the fight, and she's not willing. She's not trying to hear anybody else say anything. 
shit, nigga. What else was there? Give Woodley more than damn four rounds. And and Andre Ward was pissed too. Andre Ward was pissed at the whole shit too. Both Shields and Ward were having a fucking fit on Long. Why? Shocker. <laughs> I, mean, I think both of them, because both of them have like personal relationships with Woodley. Plus, probably like you know Ward. Ward takes himself really seriously. So seeing this shit in boxing is not sitting well with him. And, and, and another thing I, I, I want to make sure I want to bring up too, um, and just like just like in the Nate Robinson fight where, where people were accusing the coaches of failing him, I think BJ Flores and Jay Leon Love kind of failed Jake Paul a little bit, especially. In, why the fuck would you get trained by BJ Flores? Who the fuck has he actually trained that's actually worth a damn? Could even train his own career. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga didn't win shit in his career. You know. And Jay Leon Love is like the same thing. Like yeah. Like, yeah, you know, I don't know, like, dude went from having Shane Mosley in his corner for the, the fight down here to, like, you know, these C-level B-team niggas. Yeah, and, uh, B- BJ Flores uh, n- uh, never was, you know, and Jay Leon Love, like, I, I, I think Jay Love, I think, you know, you know what, I think it's just, you know what, they just, they hopped on the train, like, you know, this is a hustle, let's try to hustle this, you know, this YouTube cat, get, this, get as much money as we can for him and just, you know, do our own thing. But, yeah, they, they, they clearly didn't set him up, you know, to actually, you know, to really bite down and actually try to grind out to a win or whatever. So, I mean, if Jake Paul wants to continue doing this shit, he needs to probably get rid of both of them. Well, I don't know what Jay, Jay Lee, I mean, Jay Leon could probably be, I mean, every every fight needs a hype man, but BJ Floss can be out, you know, fuck it. <laughs> like, I, I just don't see, I didn't even see, oh, Rusty Taylor, you a trip. Shields and Ward being abrasive, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> B- yeah, Rusty, BJ, how do you cut off the ring off Flores? Facts. <laughs> how do you yeah. cut off the- Oh, my God. Yeah. B- BJ, it's like, I don't know what was the connection with getting BJ Flores to be your trainer. Like, yeah. There's a whole bunch of boxers that, you know, need work, and it's like, you pick BJ Flores. Like, yeah, exactly. I mean, BJ Flores, I mean, it was, you know, out there looking like he's been eating, like, you know, he was eating food, like, Eight times a day, looking all sloppy and shit, and trying to show him. Him and Love be getting meals now, like, <laughs> like I don't even think they train themselves no more. It, it, exactly, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, yeah, Jake Paul has too much yes man, too many people. Like, you know, if you want, he, he needs to go find himself. Uh, I mean, he, yeah, he's trained with Shane Mosley. Shane Mosley was probably the move because he actually looked like he was actually, he actually was. That was a best all look too, like, he, he yeah. Yeah, but yeah, he dropped that YouTube guy down like two or three times. Exactly. With one, two. Yeah, but yeah, I think th- I think this time, you know, either I mean, you no, know, I mean, if he needs to take a break, and he shouldn't take a break either, because you know, some of your nah, he fights. needs to fight again this year. He, he, yeah. he should be fighting December or something. Yeah, like you know, you got you got you know, you got, uh, if you want if you want to be taken seriously as a fighter, you got to act like a fighter. And because I hated I hated that whole push. With these motherfuckers, it's like, yo, Jake Paul should be taken seriously as a fighter. You know, do, do this, do that. I'm like, no, you know, he shouldn't until he acts like one. Yeah. You know, he can sell like one, you know, whatever, but he has to act like one for him to get that fucking respect. Like, nah, none of that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, he got it out to, to, to the eight rounds, so, you know, he showed hard, but we, we, we weren't, we weren't, we didn't expect to see hard this early. We didn't really want to see hard. We wanted to see another KO. Exactly. He didn't deliver, and it was there for him. Cause yeah. it's not like he fought his ass off the first four rounds and got tired. You know where he, you know, blows his load like pause. <laughs> he throws a gang of punches and he can't get him out of there. But he don't drop, dude, and he don't want big. So you're like, okay, I can understand him gassing. He gassed off the doing. Normal shit, just being carried fast. Was it chin? Was it um Woodley's chin uh, or uh, Paul or Paul um, Paul's lack of power? You know, cause I think everybody expected him to, you know, for Paul to get him out of there. But I don't think I don't think he. Had to be- it was Woodley's lack of action. That's what it was. Well, it well, was what I'm saying is Paul. You know, you think, you think Paul had the power to knock out Woodley or just not really? It was more. He did, but when he gassed, you know, I think Woodley did have a solid chin enough. But when when Paul gassed. It, the zip went from his punches quick, so that's part of the. Re- that, that's what happened. Yeah. And, yeah. The, the first four both, rounds, he could have. He could have got him out of there. But basically, both guys. I mean, moved him. 
in a nutshell, both guys were looking for that Falcon Wild, you know, that Falcon punch slash Wilder punch, basically. But then yeah, then. yeah, they yeah they they wanted the ESPN ringside knockout type punch. They want they wanted to be putting our TikTok punch. <laughs> yeah, we we didn't we didn't want to know if Jake Paul could go eight rounds right now. Like, and yeah, I no. think everybody's kind of like, damn, like we skipped to like level five, but we just wanted level three right now. And I'll tell you this: like, the real winners of the of, of the whole fight is the ones who didn't pay for this pay per view, and that's also fast. Hey, shouts out the stream team, you know, all that gang. And I, I was considering it too, but I made myself, I reasoned myself like, nah, 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 I'm good. And then I, I I'm glad because I was like, yeah, it's like if I had paid sixty dollars for this, I would probably would have been pissed. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I was mad as fuck. Did you pay or not? Yeah, 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 save that for the Fury Wilder 3 dab. That's the only pay per view worth paying this year now. Caleb Canelo? Is Caleb Canelo going to be on uh, Showtime? That ain't going to be worth it. Yo, Rusty paid for it. (laughs) Oh, Rusty Rusty loves his box. Shout out to to Rusty. He's always in here. He loves his box, and that's for sure. Yeah, Uh, I I mean, mean, we we make more to make it seem like that. Yo, my, my bad. You try to make it seem like we about nah, to have thought, yeah, the, the, the numbers, I mean, the numbers are going to be crazy. He ain't the only one, bro. I mean, shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm also reading like, 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 from first. The part on paper is dope, so. Yeah, I'm also reading from first to 15. He's funny, too. He says, Shane needs to worry about training his son. That's also facts, too, you know. But Shane, I don't know. His son been looking damn good lately. Like, I, I thought he, he got, got robbed yeah, against him. He got screwed the last fight. Yeah, I thought he got robbed. Yeah, he got. Yeah, he definitely got robbed against Quigley, though. But, but yeah, Shane. I mean, yeah, Shane can do both. At least because Shane Murphy Jr. isn't uh, a total loss yet, you know. But yeah, he, uh, I think Jake Paul needs to go back to Shane, what he was doing, and drop BJ for us if he wants to continue doing this boxing shit. Uh, else, you know, the, like I said, if, you, if, you, if you're not in it for the right reasons, you're gonna get hurt. And no one wants to see Jake Paul get like seriously hurt because you know he, his mind wasn't where it needed to be for doing this shit. So. Because the, the logical step is the Tommy Fury fight, and if not, you still gotta fight somebody where it's some type of sense of danger. Because now people see you go eight rounds, so yeah. Whether you not want people to take you serious as a boxer, whether you want it to happen or not, there's people that's gonna take you serious now. He's like, hey, he went eight rounds, and it was a real fight. It wasn't. It wasn't like Logan Paul going eight rounds with Floyd. Right. So no, no, no. this is like real. So, yeah, like yeah, there, there was no, there was no gentleman's agreement, time. none of that shit. Like this shit was off. This shit was like legit eight rounds. And Jake Paul, like, if you're gonna go eight rounds in the fight, then you better be knocking this dude down every round or some shit like that. And he's just not quitting. And then, like, okay, you put some, okay, you put fists to purpose. Okay, okay, you know we can do that. Rome, you are such a silly ass <laughs> nigga, though, bro. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, do a Kunai wrestling. I would have been as fuck if it was glitching during the Baron Check fight. That was literally the fight everybody wanted to see. So. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, so, I, can't, I can't blame you for that. Yeah, so, so basically, to sum up things like, you know, Jake Paul got to do better. Woodley probably just needs to fade to oblivion. Um, Showtime needs to really be careful, not only who they pick for Jake Paul's opponent, but also what the, who, what they actually put on the undercard. You know, because like, the undercard is everything. Like, you know, you want, you want, you want, you know, you don't want a shitty undercard, or you, you don't want undercard like that. You got to make sure it's the right fights. You know, and, um... I mean, Low-key, because... Honestly, that'll be the only Jake Paul fight I want to see right now. Them running, them running it back. Nah, I think you want to see this boring ass fight again. Nah, I, 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 thought, I thought we were going to retire, but I could see it. He sounds like he wants to fight again. You know, he's, he has yeah. that money. So, I mean, I why not? Why not? I mean, we were almost out of there. It was really a. It was really. A, it could have been a draw. Yeah, I, 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 st- I still don't want to see it again because, frankly, it wasn't enough. Like, it, it'd have to be like an actual brawl for me to actually want to see that shit again. And it was. I, I could see Willie going to Bellator. I mean, um, you know, you know, you, you know, back with Showtime, I guess, in some capacities, maybe. So, nah, I think man, he was paying too good. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, Willie. Really, yeah, Willie's gonna want the rematch because he got paid a mi- like million dollars, a million one or some shit like that. So he, I mean, so yeah, he, of course oh, he's gonna. Oh, he got over a million for this? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. 
And he gets 50 shares. Too. Is, that Cinco. is that including the 50 shares? Is that, is that not even counting the 50? I mean, he definitely got seven. He, he definitely got seven figures for this fight. Like that, that's for that's for damn sure. You know, the rest I don't know. I don't think they did. I mean, they, they, got, they got high enough, but yeah, both Jake Paul and them got, got were millionaires. Well, well now it makes sense that he fucking was begging for the fight for after. Yeah, but I'm sure in the contract, Jake Paul gets the higher percentage of the, sh- of the shares anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, so, but yeah, I mean, Showtime, I mean, like I said, I mean, we were hoping, I mean, it had some minor fuckery, but yeah, it was just one of those things. It's just the main event left the bad taste of people's mouths, and people are kind of now, kind of, you know, now people are like, you know, on the whole boxing wave, boxing's dead wave, this and that, and I'm just like, you don't even know the half of it. <laughs> You know, say it. so. It's like I mean, it, it is what it is. You know, I mean, I mean, the positives. Well, yeah, I mean, you got mainstream attention. It just you just wish that the quality was behind it to actually to really, to really like solidify that, and you know, it wasn't. So, I mean, that I, mean, I think that I think that's basically about it. <laughs> what you can say about the whole card and everything. Um. So yeah. Um. Final thoughts. You know, just just so we can get up out of here. Uh, Rome, any final thoughts? Uh, final thoughts. That card was trash. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's, nigga's straight to the point. For the sixty dollars, should have just took myself out to eat and then got a few drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that that's real. Like, I, I, I don't even blame you. <laughs> I think a lot of real boxing would have been walking down an MMA fighter instead of having an MMA fighter walk him down. <laughs> uh, Serrano, I can't believe you made me lose money. You should have got the whole out of there. <laughs> <laughs> you with you. you need to hit the lab and try to get your next opponent out of there because, I don't know, you kind of took a step back in this fight. It wasn't really a, a fight you needed to go the distance in, especially on a a big ass stage like these people hold on final thoughts man final thoughts these niggas don't realize the stage they had last night to be fighting the way they fought (laughs) facts facts you niggas are you niggas are on one of the biggest calls in like the last two years type of shit everybody watching from little kids to fucking old adults yo and you got the whole world this is a chance to make a name for yourself. And y'all niggas go on a distance with garbage journeymen and getting upset and all types of dumb shit. Like, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Every fight you know, went, the dis- went the distance or was an upset, except that, um, what's that? That nigga got out of there earlier. What was that one? <laughs> uh, Dubois. Yeah, got, yeah, got, Dubois. got, got this one out of there early. That nigga was destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> but I was late yeah. for overtime. But I don't know if Big Paul's gonna have this much pool for the next next fight they give him. But all I know is when niggas get an opportunity to fight, like Tyson Fury and Wilder car coming up, y'all niggas are gonna be showcased across the whole fucking world. Y'all need to fight like it, please. Facts. That's yeah. it. Facts. Anybody and- on that damn card actually. With exception, well, except for Baranchek. Baranchek actually did try to fight. Like he just, unfortunately, his, you know, the flesh was uh, kind of weak for him now. <laughs> so no, I'm talking about like, I thought he meant like a YouTube card, like Wilder Fury. Like, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. I was yeah. saying like everybody on that whole car need to fight like they put him on. Like, it's so a show you put on the show for your life. This is how you get more pay per views. If you go on pay per view and you fucking go to distance with a journey, man, them niggas are never booking you again. Trust me. <laughs> like, this nigga can't sell out of fucking parking lot. And, and, and you're, you're absolutely right about that. Like it's, it's like it's, 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 it's nothing but facts. Like he's absolutely, absolutely in the right room. You know what I'm saying? Jake Paul gonna get a lot of behind the scenes. Now niggas gonna be like, well, you let my fighter get on your undercard, or you think uh, let me put in a bid and let me do a favor so I can get the uh, Coleman spot. You know? Right. Well, you know, like I said, I mean that's I mean, that's how it goes, man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it definitely good looks on the, on your final thoughts, man. Um, 
Pilot, your final thought? Um, you know, great live cast. Love these. It's uh, on a Monday at that, but uh, not much. Is any upcoming fights back coming soon? Any, any uh, notable ones? We just did the previews for them yesterday. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> we do these in the morning, man. We're getting too much. My fault. But um, looking forward. I think even though despite the summer, you know, losing two of the biggest fights, I think it'll pick up, you know, fourth quarter. Uh, you know, glad to be here. Last night was cool. It was dope. I liked it. I thought it was one of the better cards. Showtime's been doing the damn thing, minus a couple blurts. Uh, but you know what it is, ringing radio all day, every day. Uh, on every platform imaginable, like and subscribe to Ringing Radio. Uh, the website ringingradio.com as well. And uh, have a good week, everybody. Yes, sir, there we go, man. Uh, P, your final thoughts? Uh, I think these uh, these cards are starting to lose their little luster because, like I, I, I've been said, these fucking these 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 YouTuber cards and shit, like these sideshows. This is like. Everybody's watching it because it's the equivalent. It's it's the boxing equivalent of two dogs fucking on the side of the road. You know, motherfuckers, <laughs> you know, motherfuckers gonna watch that shit like, ooh, look at look at those dogs getting it on. But after a while, <laughs> if you if you see that every day, it's like, uh, uh, okay, yeah, we get it. Two dogs fucking on the side of the road. I think we're we're almost to that. I feel like we're almost to that point because it's like, yeah, this is starting to it's starting to the the, the the rolls are starting to fall off a little bit on the, the, the bloom but you know let's hope we can get some real boxing so that we don't have to worry about you know seeing the two dogs fuck on the side of the road let's get an actual dog show the fuck <laughs> now because i think we got them too fast too soon and they weren't exciting enough because the, the, the floyd uh, uh logan fight was the other day and that shit was a trash card yeah. You know, with one good fight on it, which w- was an upset. Yeah, yeah, it's like a routine, if you think about it. But low-key, yeah. Jake Paul hasn't even fought an equivalent of four rounds his whole career, nigga. He really hasn't hasn't even been touched. So that nigga can fight as many fights as he wants to. That nigga can fight some all, too. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, all, that's all I got to say about that. Let's get back to the real fight. For a fucking 30-second fight, like... He is not, he's chilling. That's yeah. why he's chilling back to back. See, that's how it works. We didn't have a whole bunch of great fights in between the last Paul brother fight and this one. That's so true. Like, we had to just like back to back for some reason. Yeah, and unfortunately, like I said, when you don't, when you, when you, when you don't have like, we don't have like a lot of, uh, not even a fight of the year candidate, even between those two, those two fights or whatever. And then Jake Paul ends up being a de facto summer fight of the, uh, of the year. Yeah, that's that's a problem. It's a big problem. You know, he, he, that that shouldn't that shouldn't be though. But uh, that's boxing for you. You know, boxing has a lot to correct. You know, because you know to try to get Jake Paul out the paint, and among other things. Uh, LB, what about you? What's your final thoughts, bro? Uh, now, hopefully the the fight this weekend is good. With Laura and uh, Warrington uh, rematch, uh, I hope uh, Jay Paul keep improving and um, I think he's on to something with this boxing thing. And I want to see where the story goes or ends up. It's going to have to be real picky about that matchmaking going forward. Yes, sir. Do they want to grow him or do they want to knock out? Now you trying to grow the brand or the fighter. You know, they're going to have to choose at one point. Right. The starter in the fence with it. Honestly, what they, should do, what they should do is set this nigga up for failure. Give him one last payday. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, show, I, I don't even know how long Showtime even has him signed for or whatever, but I'm pretty sure Steven uh, If you keep on winning, you can get an even bigger payday to somebody else to come along that can play the villain to him. That's, That's the true. Thing about guys like that. But I feel like the, the jig is up almost. So I feel like, you know what, just get a nigga that's going to get him out of here. End it. Everybody going to want to see it. Everybody gonna wanna see him get knocked out. Everybody gonna know he gonna get knocked out. I mean, look, you could do that with the Tommy Fury fight. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not a different I'm talking about like a, what everybody knows is a guaranteed Jake Paul loss. Cause Tommy Fury, it might be 
a win, but it's not guaranteed. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that nigga can come out there slip and get get tossed up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so okay, okay. Right. So who realistically could he make a fight that the public would want to see and pay for? But that could guarantee the no. Floyd. Floyd. <laughs> Nah, nah, he can't use Floyd. Nah, I don't know. He's kind of. Paul even turned that fight. He said he wouldn't even do it. He's kind of big. Canelo won't touch him. Uh, I, I don't know, yo. No, no, he, he's not really worthy of any real threat. You got some ball? About the JJ? He's worth. Yeah, he's worthy of the gimmick fights. Like I can't really imagine like a good fighter. All right. Tommy Fury makes sense because I, I still favor even before even with that performance I probably still would favor uh, you know it'd be a good fight actually to be I mean you know maybe no uh, I'm, 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 I mean it'd be it'd be it'd be you know entertaining to the skill level you know because all I feel like Tommy Fury is just a jobber with a name. <laughs> but 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 the thing is, he's a real jobber, and his name is his name is special in the division. Right. You know he's yeah. He's like, he's, imagine it's like he's like the Jeff Mayweather. Uh, uh, damn, nah, wait. Jeff a, Mayweather. You know, Cause his career is still in the beginning, so it's like you can't really, you know. I apologize. I can't. Nigga, this is like everybody. This is Tommy Fury is like if Conor McGregor had a little brother that was wrestling in high school. Everybody just watched him in high school because he was Conor McGregor's little brother. Don't give a fuck if the nigga is good or not. They just know his last name's McGregor. You feel me? Hold on. So I so pass. You like Bobby Pacquiao? That that would actually be a good one. I mean, because Bobby Pacquiao, well, I know Bobby Pacquiao did actually knock out Kevin Kelly late, you know, near the end. You know, I mean, he's, he's Marcellus Wilder, whatever. Deontay Wilder's brother. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's a good one, Marcellus Wilder. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, damn. Yeah, but I mean, Bobby Pacquiao was actually a decent fighter. You know, Marcellus Wilder is not a decent fighter, <laughs> not in the least. <laughs> Damn that shit! I mean, I'm, I, I rest my case, but it'll have to be on the. It gotta be worth it, man. But the, the thing is, if you make him fight a boxer like a Tommy Fury, even if Jay Paul loses, he loses to a real boxer. Like, right. The best losable fight for him. But the only way this will work if this is this is the co-main, and there's like a major fight above it. That's the only way to do it. Versus Michael Hunter. Yeah, put up, put up. I was calling that they proposed. Like, yeah. I think they get a break, but it's, you know, it, gotta, it gotta be bigger than that, and it's gotta be the co-main because nobody's the co. The main event, Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury, nigga. Ooh, I'm not paying. Nah, next, no, just make it. Uh, you know, if Fury, you know, Fury, Fury's next fight, not the Wilder fight, but Fury's next fight after that, if he has one. I'm damn sure I'm not paying sixty dollars. Hell no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, if that's if that's the pay per view main event. Then I'm just saying, like, somebody that sometimes, like, you're probably really trying to, because they're probably banking on the thing that people are probably supposed to crack and they're going to pay for that. Nigga, dumb niggas going to have to be on Instagram live streaming that shit for me to watch that shit. Shit, this, Showtime, Showtime, Showtime will have to pay me to watch that. You know? Ain't no way. That will have to be a co main. It'll be a decent co main. Well, oh, not even a co main. It needs to be just be an opener. I don't even want that to be <laughs> No, that's fucked up. Yeah, no, 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 because seriously, both these niggas are offensively are kind of poor. Tommy Fury's poor offensively. Jake is kind of struggling offensively. So, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I don't want to see that in the main event or co-main co event role. Who's on the turntable? Who's on the, that, that's Rome on the turntables. <laughs> yeah, you ain't mixing that well. This nigga scratching and cutting me like damn red alert. <laughs> Damn, nigga, I'm sitting still. I don't nigga, even know. did you just fart? I know. No. I, I know. Still, the police just pulled up right next to me, nigga. The lady just ran outside screaming. So I'll, that's what y'all hearing. I'm not. I don't got no turntable. Jeez. <laughs>
Oh man, but yeah, I mean, I don't really have nothing to say. I mean, I haven't said already regarding Jake Paul and Woodley and shit like that. But yeah, boxing, yeah, you gotta get it together, man. You know, you don't, you know, you get, you, you have. The, we're in the fourth quarter now. Y'all gotta, y- y'all gotta, you know, correct yourself. We gotta, we gotta get these fights out of the way. We gotta get Jake Paul in his in his fights, not necessarily his power the most, out of the paint, so they're not the marquee events of the year. Because you know, I watch boxing for boxers. Not YouTubers, you know. If I want that, if I wanted to watch YouTubers fight, I'll go to World Star or some shit like that, or some shit like that, you know, where they can actually, where they don't actually ban those fights anymore on there, you know. But yeah, I, I don't, I don't, uh, you know, like boxing got to get together, man, because I, I don't want the fall to be, you know, Tommy Fury versus Jake Paul, and that's like the biggest main event because all the fights, either someone's, you know, someone's right there gets detached, or someone, you know, gets upset, or someone. You know, it was waiting for arbitration, none of that old bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, make the fucking fights. See what they're doing, make the fucking fights, you know, and satisfy the actual fans that watch the shit. You know, we don't, you know, not the casuals. You know? So, yeah, that's all I gotta say. So, for myself, you know, Pat Scorpio, the number representer, for LB Show with the God, the GOAT artist, for King People Dega P, you know, for Conscious Pilot, and for Rome, aka Chicago Win. This has been another wonderful episode of Real Talk, where, as always, it sticks real, we talk about it. So, until next time, peace. Peace.